Peace. Peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Uh-oh. Not if I'm I have something to say enough? about it. Yes. Limit the casualties. I thought you might send one of your own to oppose me. Your way is to vision. Kill this guy. Oh, I can't kill him. Yo, stop it. Stop it. He's running. He's running. Stop it. How come I couldn't attack him when I was I was freaking running right into him? Shortcuts for days. Are you serious? Attack him! What? There. Thank you. That was a lot more difficult than it should have been. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. It is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. He did! Sayonara, sucker! Ayawas ne yate hagum sare, am dahyayu ne skana se zagum haje. All right. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Still a lot of bad guys around. So, God, run. Run, mother trucker. Where are we going? Escape the zone and become anonymous. Let me mount you, sir. Oh, God, don't shoot my horse. Don't be a douche. Oh, you shot him. No, you didn't. Shit. You just made him rear back and lose me. Hopefully this is water down here. Oh, that's a shallow dive. Good golly, Connor. I did not know you were a... carnival worker. <laughs> we just dove a couple hundred feet into about three feet of water. He's a magician. New MP reward unlocked. That sounds pretty cool. All right, sequence six is complete. What's the next sequence? Are we getting out of the Animus? William Johnson is dead. Nope. And with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should uh -oh. he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. 
He needs to die. I thought it's it like might bring Brits clarity to make a and still a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. Pants are riding Speak up. I need to words. fix myself here, guys. I'm sorry. But do you believe them? Seems we've company. I really hate the way he combines everything with have. Nobody says we've company. They say we have company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Uh-oh. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house. Boston, Boston. dumbass. If you'd like, I can. Oh my god, what a selfish mother trucker. Paul Revere needs some help. Nope, not gonna do it. Oh, wait, it actually benefits me? Sure, I'll go help. Freaking. Jerk. Yes, I want to fast travel. Okay. Now we gotta run through here. I think this is how fast traveling works. Let me know if I'm doing it wrong, guys, but... <clears throat> Seems like in the other games it was simpler. You could just travel to where you wanted to go. You didn't have to travel through each part. From the homestead, to the frontier, to the other end of the frontier, to Boston. And we are now almost to Boston. Bunch of loading screens. Although the Assassin's Creed series does do loading screens, right? This is kind of cool. I like it. Do not mind it. Now we're in Boston. Holy mother trucking redcoats. And now I don't think we can... Oops. Where's our objective? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, we can't fast travel there. Which really sucks. So let's get our run on. 1,260 meters. You know what I say? I say we make it interesting. <laughs> He's out, suckers! I steal this guy's horse? There are so many guys after me. Looking for a horse to steal. Oh, what's up, puppy? Can I ride you? No. The more chase. Ooh, turkeys! It's Thanksgiving, guys, or it's a couple days after. It's unfortunate timing. Destroyed their leader. Oh! That's one of those kilt wearing skirt mother truckers. Oh, no way, we're gonna lose him. Nope. We found this branch. Ah, oh, almost got it. Always keeping it interesting for you guys. I'm gonna give you a show. It's not nearly as many as I was hoping to still be following me. You guys are some slow pokes. Look at you little girl kilt wearing. Yes. 
There's always one guy that turns around and comes back and gets killed. We aren't home free yet. Oh shite! We were almost out. I thought they'd given up on me. Watch your butt! Keep on heading towards the destination. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Should have grabbed that horse, but oh well. This thing was really far away. Are they still chasing me? Yeah, they are. Oh, there's another horse I missed. Here's a horse. Get out my way, help. Hopefully, you can get out of here quickly. No! What the hell happened there? What the fudge? Go horse. Oh my god. Well, every horse I pick is retarded, so we're gonna have to just handle this ourselves. Let's get around this corner. Jump in the haystack. Oh, dang it. This way. God. Go up. Dang it! They're around every corner. Give me that horse, shit. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, ho, ho! That's game over, baby. We're gonna stay in here until we are absolutely 110% sure that we're safe. I'm not sure if we're safe or not. We're going to wait for these guys to walk by, though. <laughs> Just for funsies. Okay. We got out of there, guys. Good job. That was fun. Wait, what notoriety am I? Is that why everybody's chasing me? Might be. Though I did kill a lot of people in one area, right in front of each other. But I feel like my notoriety was pretty high. Investigate on site, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe your notoriety is different in different areas. That would. Kind of makes sense. Empty that purse. God forsaken dogs. Piss off. You want to catch a feeding? Get close. Keep moving. You won't catch him. Oops. I think I killed the wrong guy there. I know the went up too. Buddy won't be troubling me any longer. Thank you, Mister. Just trying to get used to being all by this brute set, you know. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, triple. Give me a triple, bitch. Whoa! God. I just destroyed their whole gang. They have any good money? They seem different than the normal guards. Oh, only 11. Where's this main guy with the big pack on his back? Maybe right here? 15. Nah, not worth my time. That was sick. We just went ham bone on those guys. Oops. Let's pay him. Now incognito, baby. And we made it towards his destination safe and sound. Paul Revere's house. Let's see what up.